Snoky Neighbors. <laughs> so come on in, it's time for another episode with your best friends. I got the flavor. Think we should dive right in. We'll spit facts by gold plaques in high level competition. Look back on old footage, maybe see what we missing. Kick back and train hard is the way that we live in. Talk smack and stay humble, having fun on a mission. Big top pressure is the reason why you submitting. Yes, sir. Steady pushing forward, no setbacks. Just a couple low belts soon to turn black. And if you hating, better stop that. Cause it's the, the Nogi Neighbors, Neighbors Podcast. Podcast. White belt. Welcome to the Nogi Neighbors, folks. How's it going? And we're back after uh, the, the week's trials and tribulations. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yes, uh, I recently had uh, had a bit of a had a bit of a heat scare. Drank too much water, became water toxic. Went to the went to the hospital, but now I'm out of the hospital and I feel great. Anyway, so uh, we had uh, a, a whole bunch of. Uh, do you know how many we got correct as far as like? Ooh, I haven't I haven't looked back at the we haven't looked I back. watched it. We're not going to look back at it, folks. We're not going to No looking back now. No looking back. We're like sharks. We never look back. I think it's that they never stop swimming. They do never stop swimming. They don't look back, I don't think either. I mean they don't really have necks, do they? I think their whole body is a neck. Like a snake? Yeah, a little bit. Do snakes never look back? No, snakes definitely look back. They're always afraid. Are sharks related to snakes? You know, they're just all mouth, so maybe. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> they're pretty. They're pretty tubular. Pretty, I, I'd say. Aerodynamic. Indeed. Indeed. How how was your training this past week? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I stopped by uh, Eric's Monday, uh, Tenth Planet Huntsville. I had a pretty good time. Um, I, they got a tough room, man. They got a really tough room. It was it was a it was a fun training session. Um, I like visiting schools and you know. Checking things out, checking and stuff. it out. Yeah, yeah. He he did some cool passing stuff in class, and then we just had really good rounds. Me and Luke went over there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's really that's really cool. Uh, I I've yet to go over there, but you, as as far as you've told me, it's it's a very it's a more of a rated R Tenth Planet <laughs> to cater. It was it was fun. It was fun. Um. Yeah, yeah. I had a good time. I was. Uh, I'm probably gonna go by back by RCR and do some gi training sometime soon okay just for just for the fun of it all right um i think i'm gonna stop by there like sometime in the next week so if you train there be ready um get ready (laughs) but yeah uh on that um sawyer didn't get to see the entirety of uh the who's number one card because he was training. Who would have? Who would have guessed that Sawyer was guessed. training while it was going on? Yes. But uh, I was going to show him the clip from the the infamous Big Dan match. I've got it pulled up on his on his screen over here. But I'm going to leave it over here for the because because of how I feel terrible how for, graphic it goes. Yeah, for for missing it. I love graphicness. So but here here you go. Let's see here. Oh, Big Dan versus this one dude. That's the guy that had the three-hour match with uh, with Adam Bradley on the first night. And lost. Yeah. But he's a big boy. He is a big boy. It's not as big as Big Ooh. Dan, though. This looks pretty, pretty subpar. Or not subpar, but just regular. Just, just regular for now. I have no idea how you could... So Big Dan's in Tristan's guard. He's framing on the neck. About to get his posture. God, his arms are huge. Yeah. It makes Big Tristan look small, and Tristan's not a small guy. No. How could you... He's standing up See, in this guard. is a scary place. Uh-oh. 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 There he goes. Oh, I think I did see this. Yeah, that's awful. Oh. He got a real big pop. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. Bah! One more time. Oh, again. Oh, 
He was trying to get his legs out. He had both of yeah, his he legs. Passes, he passes the foot on the other side, and you can oh. see come up at the bottom right here. He just hook. didn't. Ah, oh, he didn't save his legs. He wasn't. He wasn't being defensive with his legs, and completely forgot about half of his body. <laughs> You can't forget about half your body, especially against Big Dan Montessori, you or Montesso or Mona. However they say it, Montessori. I think Big Dan's enough. Just, just that, just Big Dan. I mean, yeah. <sighs> That's rough. Yeah, dude. I I got a Josh got on my leg this week, and he put me in a tight heel hook, and I mm. tapped real early, and I just in my mind I was just thinking back, I was like. You know, Josh has got good, really good heel hooks, but he's like, technique's great, but he's like this 155 pound dude, and I'm just yeah. like, I just thought for a second, I was like, man, I'm at, and, and you know, yeah. obviously he's gentle with me because we're training partners and we're yes. trying to get better. Yeah, but just the thought of somebody that's over a hundred pounds bigger than Josh, and also has that same you know technique and is just ripping it in a competition. Oh, for it, sure, it's just terrifying. Scary is scary, very scary. But yeah, that 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 happened. So yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah, good for him. I, I hope he's better. Hope he's okay. I saw a, an angle from the other side. Somebody was recording it in the crowd, and it mm -hmm. looked just like the Vinny uh, Magales Craig Jones match. Oh yeah, and his heel and his knee were like lined up, like pointing the same way when it cracked so Ooh. it was bad it was real bad Ooh. yeah that's rough everybody's got to be real real uh real real careful with their ankles and their feet in the words of maximus jolly a lot of tendons in the knees <laughs> yeah. you gotta be careful man a lot of tendons in the in them knees you gotta be they'll very tap careful to that they'll tap to that for sure uh, for sure but yeah, that was uh, off the Who's number one card. There were some other good matches. Uh, what did you think about Gordon versus Pedro? I absolutely loved it. I really, I really, I, I mean, we all called it. We all saw it coming. Uh, everybody but the Magic 8 Ball. Yeah, everybody except for the Magic 8 <laughs> We're, magic game ball was a little off of that. Yeah, we're we're switching it out for the magic clon shell. Yeah, magic clon shell. It, it will it will definitely do a better job. When we do the magic clonch, yeah, is it the conch or the clonch? Conch. Oh, uh, I thought it was. No, was not clonch like, shell. Like Luke clonch. Like Luke clonch. Yeah. Well, we'll do the magic clonch shell, and it'll be like the conch shell, but it'll have like his face on it, and that, it'll be like yeah. it'll be like real like aggro like him. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be that'll be perfect. That's that's who he is. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. That's that's absolutely Luke. You know, that's on brand for Church. sure. Yeah, I hope he I hope he comes back to jujitsu. I know he's back to jujitsu. Yeah, he's he's back training. He won't be back this week though. He's on a work. Trip. He'll be back. Uh, he'll get back the like a few hours before the battle royale Wednesday. Yeah, he's, he's he just trip. so happens to be the, to to have uh, become an adult before both of us. So, right? Huh? Him? Oh, oh! As far as like being on a work trip, yeah, just being, yeah, just yeah. being on he's a out, work trip. He's out there trip. doing grown up things. Just while a grown we're up out thing. Here. Nah, nah. Playing we're, around. We're out here playing around. But, I think I love. I, I mean, I love it. I mean, dude, he he does a different thing. It's it's just different, you yeah, know. Out there getting it done. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, speaking of getting back on Wednesday, mm -hmm. what's going down Wednesday at three p.m. <laughs> Hundred man jiu jitsu battle royale. You know it, guys. Uh, put on by our coach Brandon at our gym. So you can catch it on uh, on Brandon McCaffrey YouTube channel. I'm sure yeah. you, if Brandon you're on here, you've Ninja. Seen it. Um, you'll, you'll, you you can check it out. Uh, it's it's going to be on YouTube. I don't think it's going to be live streamed. No, it's not going to be live streamed. It's no. going to be edited and put up later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm pumped for that. You got a strategy yet? You got a team, <sighs> dude? I just I, I hope to take. I'm gonna go for the weakest links almost immediately. What do you but, mean by weakest links? Like, are you going for like lower belts? I'm going. I'm going for women, children. And just everything. I'm. It doesn't. I don't really have any, any uh, alliances. Take no, no prisoners, huh? Just. I mean, <laughs> at this at this point, I'm just I'm just trying to take take everybody out, man. I'm 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 coming back. You know what I mean? Going in there for that. Uh, yeah. For that Moab. 
I'm <laughs> looking for that kill streak, going for the Moab. Yeah, Moab 240, you know? Yeah, that would be sick. Get on that YouTube video and, like, take out, like, like 10 people just yeah. back to back to back. That just would be run, exciting. Just running through white belts. Yeah, that would be, yeah, exactly. That exactly. Might be your, I've got a strategy. I'm taking down own. Caesar. I'm taking down, <laughs> well, taking down everybody. <laughs> he's such a... He's he's a he's a child. He's I'm gonna take ni- him out. He's such a nice young man. Why you he's gotta... a, he's a very nice young man, <laughs> and I'm gonna take him out. And that's oh, man. just what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, my strategy is I'm gonna get. I've got about two. I, I'm not gonna team with you. I'm not gonna ally with you. Yeah, I get you. Because if it comes down to it, and yeah. if if we were to make it to the end, yeah, you want we've someone... already ran that match. You know, a few times in the last year. Uh huh. And... I mean, I'm pretty weak right now, man. You might be able to take me out. I, I'm not taking that bait. It's scary. The un the universe was like, do it. Nah, it's <laughs> like nah. So nah, I'm gonna keep taking everybody else out. Whenever I come for you, yeah, I'm gonna have reinforcements. Oh yeah. 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 Um, mm-hmm. I'm I'm planning. I got Luke to uh take off early. Me and him are both gonna take off early on Wednesday that because we have to take off work to be there. Yeah. But I made sure he took off too because. We've got a little bit of that tag team experience. That's true. From uh, from doing tag team jujitsu matches. Tag team jujitsu. We made it to the finals of the Hydra Cup three. So indeed, we've got a little experience in this in a similar rule set. We we got a little bit of that you know cohesive work together cooperation. So yeah, so I'm, me and him are definitely teaming, it's and I've got one or two other guys that that I'm pretty sure I'm taking with me. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to do all that kind of stuff. I just want to get back to training, guys. Yeah. It's been hard out here. <laughs> rough. Can't wait to get back to it. But uh, but but recently we had an MMA. Uh, we had the UFC Fight Night. What was Tell it? Tom it. Tom Aspinall versus uh, what's what's Curtis his, Blades? Uh, Curtis Blades. Yeah, big wrestler boy. Uh, what what happened with Tom Aspinall versus Curtis Curtis Blades? Tom Aspinall, he got. His, his knee, knee just exploded. His like knee in the first exploded. Yeah, he threw he threw a kick and then he stepped back on the kick and then he fell down. You think it was like a? You think it was like a McGregor, um, what's his name, Silva situation where like, like when he kicked, the kick was like checked a little bit or he hurt his leg on the kick or oh, you yeah. think he hurt hurt it stepping back. What do you think happened? Uh, I think he threw the kick and then and then that 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 kajiggered some stuff. So he was just throwing with reckless abandon, hurt his leg. Yeah, he th- I mean, he th- he, I don't know if he was throwing with rec- reckless abandon. It looked like a pretty regular kick. It it looked fine, and then he just stepped back on it, and his knee was absolutely destroyed. I think that it's just it's a con. It it came from constant destruction throughout the entire fight camp if he had a fight camp yeah which he looked like he did he so you think he probably came in hurt yeah or came in he didn't tender, know came in tender yeah he he didn't he wasn't throwing like that leg was hurt yeah he was throwing it, it looked to like, me like he, he threw it you know like he was excited like he was excited to throw it that's what yeah. he was, what which is good you know, but it just it just still happened to happen. It, it crap stuff like that happens all the time, mm-hmm. and it sucks. But it but it actually but it happened. Like he lost. It's the worst though when it, you're like fighting in like your homeland and you're the main event. Oh, it's awful. But yeah, and it's, it's gonna, not you won't have a rematch soon. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, you just really have to be. I think that MMA fighters especially have to be very careful about their bodies and how and how okay they are and if they are actually ready to fight whenever they whenever they kill themselves into the ground for like six weeks it 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 just destroys them and then they're just not ready for, ready for the day yeah. you know and then it well, obviously not him because he's a heavyweight but they, also you got weight cuts you've yeah. got you know, jet lag. You've got to adjust to you know if you're going into a different altitude. There's you're, so many, and you're throwing like, kicks. Variables. You're throwing kicks. You're throwing punches. You're throwing all that kind of stuff. Getting ready for the fight, and then sun, and then suddenly, you know, you can't throw any more kicks. Yeah, bro. I'll stick to I'll stick to rolling around on the ground. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. need any of that. It does it does help. And then uh, right before that, what was it? Uh, there was a decision. 
that we didn't watch because it just wasn't that exciting. And then there was the Patty Pimblet fight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Patty went in there, got the job done. He did get the job done. It was. It was had a actually bad first round, but he came back. I, I'd say he had. Well, a he good, finished the first round well, but he most did. of it he was getting beat. He was getting beat, quote unquote, but he was really just getting beat with wrestling. Yeah. And then yeah. he would, and then he was firing back with jujitsu. Yeah. Like he was going for uh, guillotines and all that kind of stuff, though. Personally, I hate it when people are jumping on guillotines, every, unless they're like, unless you're yeah. known for guillotines in MMA. I hate seeing people jump on guillotines. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you don't really want to jump on guillotines. Yeah. But you want you want to be able to to put together a guillotine and threaten it which is what he did successfully yeah I I, he did use that uh that like third attempt i think he used it really well to like control the head to get to uh, a side control um at the it's like midway through the first round but a lot of times in mma when i see people go for guillotines to me it almost looks like they're trying to like convince themselves it was their idea to be on their back when really they just got taken down yeah <laughs> they were getting taken down yeah, you're right. He was getting taken down, that's for sure. But uh, but he did get a guillotine, and he kept it there. Like, he yeah. kept it. He was able to keep it, at, at the very least, and he was able to not get punched while he's on the ground. Yeah, that was yeah, for sure, for sure. That, that, that fight isn't the, the best example of what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I, just, I know. In general, mean. I don't... I almost cringe a little bit, because they're... People go for them so often, but they just don't pan out. You know, you know what grinds my gears? <laughs> Grind your gears. Uh, when people go for uh, like um, a uh, go for a heel hook or something like that in mm-hmm. MMA, and people just punch the crap out of them. Just they just keep punching Talking them. About Gary Tonin, basically. So it's just it's so easy to actually punch somebody while they're trying to get a trying to get a heel hook in MMA. Mm. And people just think don't all think the time about thing, that. or you think it's just like a weakness in some people's jujitsu. Uh, it's not a weakness in people's jujitsu because because it's not a weakness because you can just punch the crap out of them. You you think that them going for it is a weakness in their jujitsu? No, I'm saying I'm saying like like if we're in a fight and I go for a heel hook on you, is it that going for a heel hook is a bad idea, or is it that the way I've been training heel hooks without strikes? isn't the same way you need to be going for them in MMA. I mean, yeah, that that's true. Yeah. Like which one? Like the, the, the second that, one. The second so so they're viable just not the best if yeah. you haven't been training with strikes in your grappling. Yeah. Cuz I mean, we've been seeing them in combat jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can definitely still do it in in combat jiu-jitsu. It's just whenever you whenever you have MMA and you and you, you can just keep punching somebody in the yeah. head while they're trying to get it get it on you. I have seen people get like pull it off even though they're getting punched maliciously, yeah. but it's I don't know if it's worth it, man. Yeah, at the end of the day, you don't want to end up like uh I'm going to butcher his name, but uh surreal gun. Oh, yeah. And it oh, man, that was that was rough. That was real yeah. rough when he j- fell back on that hill hook against Francis and just lost it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was rough. But uh, yeah, and then we had uh, we had last time we had our podcast, we talked about going into uh, into grappling games. We had that that came and went. Yeah, yeah, that that came and went. We did we went to grappling games. Um, only had two matches. Lost the final one against a, a really uh, stout black belt. He was really he was really good, but before that, I had a pretty good uh, RNC, which was really nice. What would you do? Get a snap down and then turn and take the back. Uh, takedown. Well, uh, it was a takedown. It was a it was a takedown and then and then I and then I took the back. Okay. Okay. Cool. I, yeah. It was quick and there was a lot going on. Yeah. I, I mean, I watched it, but yeah, that one was over before it started. Yeah, that it felt like. <laughs> uh, he had a purple. He had a purple belt. Um. Uh, rash guard on and I was just I was just completely confused uh, p- p- by his whole thing because he jumped he jumped at me and yeah, he almost went for like a jump and guillotine yeah and, you know if you're like a Joe Kai like sure yeah go for know, it go for it get some sky miles yeah this guy was not Joe Kai the, no no <laughs> this guy was like he was a you know he was a bald fat dude he was a bald, fat dude, and it just it just so happens that it's like you're not gonna get that high, dude. You ought and to make a reel out of that. That was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. Uh, you were even taller than him too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, yeah. 
there was there was a lot of things going on with, Which, with that I mean, one. Same dude hit me with a toehold, but yeah. But I'll say this: he wasn't gonna hit me with a flying guillotine. No, 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 he wasn't gonna no. get you with a flying guillotine. I feel I felt like uh, that toehold was all he had, man. Yeah, he tried it two or three times earlier. Whenever I was playing open guard, and I should have seen it quicker, mm-hmm. but I don't. I just kind of ignored it. I don't know why. And then after I passed his guard, whenever we were kind of getting into a scramble. Uh, he got it. I mm. had to tap, which I was already kind of hurt, but no excuses. He he caught me. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah. Well, you had a hard day, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So my first match, I went against a guy who, uh, uh, a homeboy up from uh, Tent Planet Cookville. He beat me last year, uh, right before we both got belted. Mm-hmm. Uh, or dang, before we got blue belts, you're a purple belt now. Yeah. Uh, right before we both got blue belts, he beat me at white belt, and then it's been it, it had been like a year and two weeks, and then we had a rematch. And when I seen him this time, he's put on some muscle. Dude mm. looked like he had you know he'd been in the in the weight room a little bit, but uh, I beat him this time uh, on points. Mm-hmm. We had a great match. He felt really good. Uh, and then in my next one, I got my arm popped with a. A, a weird Americana. I was trying it to was either. Weird, wasn't it? I was trying to either go for deep half or lockdown, and it was on the side that I don't usually do either of those because I usually do both of them on the same side because I'm the type that only drills on one side. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I ended up like I was playing deep half, and then I was just trying to come out the back door. And what ended up happening is I left everything or I left nothing but my arm behind and he was able to oscillate my arm and I was flat on my back when I should have been on my side so he was able to Americana me and he got a really loud pop out of my elbow and it freaked me out real bad but I'm good now I've been training so since then so yeah um, we're, we're all good but didn't you have some matches after that as well yeah I had uh, had you one had of the them bald, uh, you had the bald dude yeah I had the bald dude uh, in the absolute he got me with that toe hold and, uh, and Isaiah Casey that blue belt okay Hit me with the triangle. Ooh. I don't think he would have been able to finish me, but he had that that arm that had already been hurt, isolated. Uh, I had my posture like fully up, and I was ready to get out of it. But he had that arm isolated, and I wasn't gonna let him. It was already like throbbing, hurting. So I was, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap. I felt like it was the right move. Yeah. Um, but he's gonna be in our absolute, and I'm gonna. Uh, was this that young fella? Yeah, yeah. He's he's a. Well, he's a stout he's, young I think he's fella. older than me. Okay. But uh, a lot of people are older than me. I'm only 20. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I want to rematch against him. See if they'll set us up for the rematch in the first round at that absolute. That would be that would be interesting. I'd like I'd like to see Yeah, that. it's up to him, though. I mean, he, he was the guy who won. So if he doesn't want to fight me again, that's totally fine. Yeah. But uh, I'd, I'd like a rematch against him. I think it was, right. it, it'll be fun. I'd like, like to We had a little him. bit of a fun roll before, before that happened. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was a little upset at myself for letting myself get caught. I knew he wanted the triangle, mm-hmm. but because he uh, he hit he hit Bush with that triangle um, back at Naga oh. a few months ago, and then Bush had a match with him yeah. at uh, Grappling Games, and Bush hit him with a straight ankle lock and got him. And and I think it was the finals. Bush got gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bush so, Bush did great. Bush did a shout awesome. out to to Michael Bush. New blue belt at our gym. Freaking awesome! Out there killing it. With the sharp wrestling game, he seven all years. subs, seven years of wrestling. Yeah, all subs last tournament. Um, it was it was legit. It was so really did Liz. Nice. She came in. Liz Liz did great. Liz Bailey. She got two subs. She got gold. Hit a go go plata and a uh, uh, yeah. What was it? Rutolo those, team. Yeah, yeah. Rutolo team. Those girls didn't see what was coming. No, dude. That was it. Was something. It was really. Something. It was it was real exciting. But uh, like, wow. Good know? day for the team overall. Yeah, rough day for me. Yeah, man, but that was rough. Sorry, but I mean, we've got that. We've got that next competition. So yeah, we've got battle that. royale. That's what I'm thinking of. Battle royale. Right now, I'm ready for the battle royale Wednesday, and then I'm thinking about. Isn't the, it fifteen hundred dollars uh, or something? I don't know. Okay, I'm, gotcha. I'm not there for the money. I'm there for the clout. I'm there to. I, <laughs> I'm there to snatch people up, have a good time. Snatch, snatch some souls. Yeah, take them out. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. My plan is to make it to the final two, me and Luke, and then take Luke's arm home. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to take Luke out pretty pretty early. <laughs> You're just gonna come straight for my team? Is that what's up? I mean, I just want I want Luke out. Okay. 
I mean, why I'm, is he a threat? Or no, it's because earlier you said you were going to be picking off the weakest first. I'm I'm going to take out? I'm going to take out the weakest first. Uh, he's he's one of the weakest in my oh, opinion. Okay. So I, so I mean, just I'm just going to take him out. I'm right just going to go after gate. him right out the gate. Yeah, I mean, he, that gas. He, he, you know, he's he's out there at uh, at OKC right now on a yeah. work trip. You know, he he doesn't even know him. it's coming. He don't know it's coming yet. No. Well, I, if you come for him, you know, I gotta. Yeah, you gotta stop him, right? I'm not allowed with you. But, oh, okay, I got so you. May, you may have. I might have to two two on one. Yeah. Yeah, handicap match. <laughs> have, have some uh, some Red Devil pride over there. Yeah. <laughs> back from back from Elmont. Gonna have to take him out. Um, uh, him and some other people. I I've been been paying real close attention to where everybody is like conspiring at the gym and I think Beef Corner is going to have like a like a tough to deal with the Lions. I've yeah. been watching them over there. Yeah. And they got I can take out Trey. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you you name drop all you want, you go for whoever you want. I'll to. take out Trey. I'm going to keep to my keep to myself, save it for game day. I'll but, t- I'll take out Trey. I'll take out I I can't take out River. I need somebody to help me take out River. <laughs> You're on your own on that one. Okay. All right. Well, but, River's uh, gonna be hard one. He's like one of, used to be one of the strongest people in Alabama. He's he's he's, he's really cool. Stronger than me. Uh, yeah. He hits that threshold of like you know when you're like a like a brand new student, like you know somebody comes in on day one and they roll with like a blue or a purple and they're like, are you a black belt? Just because they can't even see the difference. Yeah. Like it's so far above they don't even know what yeah. they don't know yeah that's how i feel with how strong river is mm. like if i try to pick up a thousand pounds and then i try to pick up two thousand pounds i can't tell which one's heavier i can't get either one of them off the ground that's how i feel if i was to like oh river's them. that strong yeah i'm just like he's more what this dude's doing <laughs> I, can't, I can't i can't deal with that yeah yeah right as of right now as of right now, but we'll, we'll see about that here. Now. I don't, I don't know if he's even gonna be there. I hope he's not. <laughs> that way, I don't have to go against him. Praying on everybody's but, downfall. Hey, man. That I, well, I mean, I'm trying to get that money, man. Hey, I. I'm trying to get YouTube famous, bro. I, I feel it. It'd, it'd be good for. It'd be good for the. Uh, man, maybe we do need the ally just to have a Nogi neighbors. Oh, Nogi neighbors uh, alliance. alliance. What do you guys think? That's tell that's us giving in, me second thoughts. Tell us in the comments. Tell that's us in giving, the comments if you want the Nogi Neighbors Alliance. That's giving me second thoughts. Well, we'll have to. Well, I mean, well, eventually every alliance is going to have to fall apart. Yeah, dude. I feel like he's going to hit us with some Squid Game stuff, like halfway through. Like whoever yeah. you've been allied with, you have to like take them out, like halfway through. Yeah, yeah. Now you have to go against them. Yeah, I was getting, I was getting some of them, yeah, some deets on the low, and he's going to definitely throw some, some curve. We're going to have to go against. I'm going to have to go against Travis, and that's going to be fun. I'm going to sit back and just watch that happen. Okay. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. So we're all going to start out with like a singles match. Yeah, yeah. Once you finish your guy, you just go jump in another match. You just jump in whatever you want, and then eventually it's just going to be a giant mass of human beings. Probably. Just, just. I'm probably just going to get the up hostilities. against the cage wall and just play like open, like play like real Cage tight. wall against the cage like my back to the cage where nobody can get it like yeah. next to my buddy and I don't like sit there and wait for people to come dude, to us dude that would suck imagine the amount of people that'll be like pushing on you onto the cage imagine your back after I'll be, after I'll it'll be framed be... up I'll be framed up <laughs> okay I'll, I'll be fine okay you'll be fine yeah I get you I get you I'm gonna drag I won't do that up against the cage so that like me and Luke can just break their limbs off I get that I get that I think we'll have a lot um, of visitors you think it's mostly gonna be I think Eric Ow is gonna be there that would okay. be interesting. Are you, are you going for Eric? I don't really want to go for Eric. Yeah, me either, bro. He hit me with like a, uh, you know, usually it'd be like a north-south choke. Yeah. But instead of being like parallel, it was like, you know, like a like a T. Yeah. Like a like a right angle. It's like a east-west choke. I guess. Whoa. I don't know. Scarf hold, but without the I don't I don't know what he without did. the scarf. It, sucked though okay know? yeah 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 made made my eyeballs pop out of my head so yeah just had to put them back in and keep going yeah he's a little he's a little scary with the rated rness nah. for me 
Yeah. But then again, my favorite uh, professional wrestler is Edge, and he's the rated R superstar. So I, sh- I, I, I think I'd be great friends with Eric Al. I think. We'll go over there and train, man. I, yeah, I should go over there and train. Dip I'm going to go over the there. See what's up. Daniel's over there. Daniel competed this last weekend. Yeah, uh, how'd that go? Uh, how do, you, do you know? I, I don't know all the details. He said he was going to show me his matches. Okay, but I want he, he went out there, you know, got his got his first uh, his competition under his belt. So that's that's really cool. I'm excited for him. Yeah. 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 He did um, great. I mean, I he kept saying that he wasn't sure if he was going to do 155 or cut down. You know what weight class he did? I didn't ask. I think it was 155. Okay. Yeah, it was, I was going to go with him, but he told me it was down there in Foley, and I was like, nah, that's too far. Yeah, no. Nah. I'll go to the next one. It's like one. six hours. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you just ride with, I'll let him like ride with us to like a like a Nashville one or oh. something, but. Let's see. Movie recording has been stopped. Hmm. You want You want to just end it? All righty, guys. Well, uh, <laughs> it, this has been a this has been a fun no gi neighbors podcast. Thank you for uh, uh, coming and coming and watching us. You, uh, we've got we've got most of it uh, with the with the camera. We've got most of it, but um, uh, it camera also just just stopped working. So we're gonna call it quits. We're we're learning as we go. So as we go, it'll progressively get better. That's the that's the idea, at least. But, you gotta uh, believe that you're on the come up. Yeah, yeah, you gotta believe. <laughs> but uh, be looking forward to uh, to watching that that hunter man battle royale. It's gonna be good, and uh, I'm gonna oh, see yeah. what I can make of it. Um, Y'all see have what a good. We can make of it. It's gonna be team effort. It's gonna be team effort from from my part. I can't be going in there solo. Yeah, no. But uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, uh, we'll see you guys later. All right, later.